welcome uh, to practice this evening. We are going to begin in child's pose as we always do in my classes. I think it's such a beautiful way to ground before practice, to allow the energy to settle, to, now you, to allow you to connect with your breath, your body, yourself, your practice, the space that you're in, your mat. There's other reasons why I like to start in child's pose too, but they don't count online to give me a chance to check in on you all and you can let me know about injuries or whether you want to be assisted or not but sadly there's nothing I can do about that this evening virtually. So coming into a wide-legged child's pose, knees, knees are wide as the mat, toes are together behind you and then sit back onto your heels. Extend the arms out in front and bring the forehead to the earth. And we'll take a few breaths here together, starting to connect to your breath. And this might be an ujjayi breath, a sound a yogi breath, or it might be just a strong, steady, even breath in and out through the nose. And this practice will be a little bit different from the last two vinyasa classes in that because it is a full moon this evening or tonight, a full super moon, and I think the biggest super moon of 2020, full moon in Libra, we're going to flow through some really juicy moon salutations. Chandra Namaskar. And these differ from Surya Namaskar, our sun salutations, in that they have a really calming, cooling, yin quality, although we are moving. The sun salutations, typically done at the start of every yoga class, but traditionally with the sunrise, we use them to energize and to heat the body. And so the lunar, the chandra, moon salutations do the opposite to cool, calm, before bed. Or around the time of a full or a new moon. With these moon salutations, it's a little bit more freedom with movement. They're more flowy. I quite like to link them with the breath, but you can take a couple of extra breaths here and there where you need them. Or while you get used to the movements, just breathe however feels natural for you and then as we repeat the movements and you start to move into a moving meditation yourself and the repetition starts to flow more freely through your body, then you can start to link the breath if you're more comfortable doing that. Before we start these salutations though, we'll move from our child's pose into a cat cow. So we'll bring the weight forward, shifting the shoulders roughly over the wrist, hips roughly over the knees. And a couple of traditional cat cows, doming and arching through the spine. And again, link the breath here if that feels natural for you. I quite like an inhale to open the heart and then an exhale to dome through the spine. Usually I use an inhale where I'm finding length, space, lightness, openness. And an exhale to find a sense of groundedness, strength, stability. So I'll inhale to roll the shoulders back as I open the heart space, find length through the front body. And as I exhale, I sit the 
navel, the inner, and up engaging Uddiyana Bandha as I ground through the hands. A few more like this, but if additional movements or alternative movements serve you better, and you feel like you need to create a bit more space in different parts of the body, whether it's the side waist, the hips, the shoulders, the head, the neck, arms, wrists, whatever is calling you this evening, feel free to get a little creative with the movements and the breath. So there's no right or wrong here. If you come to a part of the body where you feel like you could use some extra love, maybe linger here, move a little deeper, breathe into this part of the body. When you're ready, find a very fluid down dog. So pedal through the feet as you lift the hips high, sway through the hips, nod the head. Group down through the finger pads. And then find a stillness for a few breaths in the down dog. Let the heels melt towards the floor. Don't worry about whether they actually reach or not. Charge down through the hands and then extend the tailbone high to the sky as you pull the belly button in and up. And then shift the gaze between the thumbs. And then slowly start to tippy toe the feet behind the wrists and then Allow the spine to pour out from the pelvis. You can take opposite elbows or let the arms hang heavy and let the head also hang heavy, giving it a nod or a shake to release any tension through the back of the neck. And then slowly curl on up, coming all the way to stand. Roll the shoulders away from the ears. Find Tadasana at the top of the mat. Now, if you haven't done moon salutations before, it might be helpful to turn your mat so that it's facing long ways towards the screen so you can see because we'll actually be moving lengthways along the mat rather than forward and back. We do start facing forward. I tell a lie, we start facing the side at the top of the mat. And then we'll take the hands overhead as we inhale. So I'll move through the first couple nice and slowly and then it'll be one breath per movement. Interlace the fingers, release the index finger to a pistol grip. I'm not sure if my hands are cut off from the screen. We'll take a big breath in and then as you exhale, reach the fingertips over to the left, reach the hips to the right, and ground down evenly through the feet. Get a big stretch down the right side of your body. And then we'll breathe in, coming up. Exhale, fingertips over the front of the mat, towards the right, open up the left side of the body. Coming back up towards center. And then the left foot, step it out as far as you can. Toes point out to the left. Right toes point at a diagonal to the right for goddess pose. Let the knees track over the middle toes. Sit the hips down in line with the knees and then reach the hands, cactus arms, overhead, whatever feels comfortable for you. From here, both legs straighten. The right toes turn towards the long side of the mat, left toes towards the back, trikonasana to the left hand side, extend the arms out in front or out to a T, reach the hips back, get really long through the left side waist and then left hand down, right hand to the sky. Create length through both side waist. You can take your drishti, your gaze, wherever is comfortable or you can work or flow with the eyes closed. Take a deep breath in and out. Inhale. As you exhale, 
exhale, gaze towards the left toe, bring that right arm round to the floor, frame the front foot, and then either just square the hips or step the right foot slightly out to the right for feet on train tracks. So that will depend on you whether you have a heel to heel alignment or feet on train tracks, hip distance apart. We can take a breath in to lengthen the spine, and here it's pyramid pose as we fold over that left leg. Drishti, wherever is comfortable for you, maybe it's the left big toe, maybe the eyes are closed or a soft gaze to the tip of the nose. Let's take a halfway lift on the next breath in. And then exhale the right foot, step it back, bring the knee to the floor. Crescent lunge, inhale, like a crescent moon, reach the hands overhead, allow the hips to soften towards the earth. You can keep the hands shoulder distance or interlace the fingers or take the hands to prayer. So find what works best for you. The hips are squaring towards the front of the room and we've lots of space through the upper back. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, both hands to the inside of the left leg, plant the back foot on the floor for Skandasana, side lunge. You can stay in this high Skandasana where the hips are in line with the left knee, or you can come into low Skandasana, let the right toes point up to the sky. Now the left foot might be on the ball of the foot, or you might have the sole of the foot on the floor. But you can keep the hands wherever is comfortable for you. So maybe at the beginning, hands are on the floor, and as we move through, get a little bit more fluid. We might take the hands into binding or wings. We move from Skandasana on the left side over towards Skandasana on the right side. So we bend the right knee, straighten the left leg, either coming to your high or your low Skandasana. And again, option what you do with the hands is up to you. Both hands frame the right foot. And then turn to face the front of the mat, crescent lunge. So we're going back the way we came. Reach the hands overhead. And again, whether you keep hands shoulder distance or interlace the fingers or hands in prayer is up to you. Hips soften, getting a beautiful opening through the left hip flexor. And then exhale, hands to the floor. Pyramid pose, the left leg steps forward slightly, toes point to the top left hand corner of the mat. We'll take a halfway lift to inhale and then exhale to soften. Where the feet are is up to you, heel to heel or hip distance or maybe somewhere in between that. Ground down through the right hand. This can be on the shin, on a block, or on the floor. And now peel the left hand to the sky as we parallel the spine to the floor. Trikonasana, right hand side. Drishti, wherever suits you. Gentle tuck of the tailbone to find length through the lower back. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, gaze down to the right big toe. Inhale, turn all toes out to the sky or to the sides for goddess pose. And then we step to the back of the mat. So the right foot steps to meet the left. Hands come to prayer. Inhale, sweep the hands up, gaze up, interlace the fingers, take a different thumb on top. As you exhale, point the fingers towards the right, breathe into the left waist. Inhale, back towards center. Exhale, fingertips over to the left, big stretch through the right side waist. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, right foot steps forward, goddess pose, cactus arms. 
Inhale, straighten the legs. Turn the right toes to the front of the mat as you exhale. Reach the right fingertips long for Trikonasana. Inhale, right hand to the shin, left hand to the sky. Exhale, gaze down to the right big toe. Square off the hips, adjust the feet if you need. And on the inhale, take a halfway lift. And as you exhale, fold over the right leg. Inhale, lift the heart halfway. As you exhale, step the left leg back, knee to the floor. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands to the inside of the right leg. Skandasana, as you inhale, lift the heart. And as you exhale, you can use the hands to walk over to the left leg. Inhale, hands to the floor, heart, Skandasana. As you exhale, frame the left foot, right knee to the floor. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands to the floor, tuck the back toes, foot onto the floor for pyramid. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, trikonasana. Take a deep breath. In, exhale, gaze to the left big toe. Inhale, goddess pose. Cactus the arms, turn the toes out. And as you exhale, step the left foot to meet the right. Hands to heart center. So we'll flow through this a couple more times. If you get a little bit confused, no problem. I often get confused with this. I think I cued the breath wrong for Trikonasana. So just get used to the movements and the breath will come. It's almost like a dance because it has this lunar energy. It's more feminine than masculine, a little bit more flowy and free. Let's take an inhale, reach the hands overhead. As you exhale, fingertips to the left, open the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, fingertips to the right, hips open to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, goddess pose. Inhale, straighten the legs, turn the right toes in. Exhale, get long through the left side, waist, reach the fingertips back. Inhale, trikonasana, right hand high, long through the spine. Exhale, both hands frame the front foot, adjust the feet as you need. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, pyramid pose over the left leg. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, right knee down. Inhale, reach the hands high. Anjane Asana, crescent lunge. As you exhale, set up for Skandasana, hands ground inside the leg. And you can stay here as you inhale, grow tall through the spine or hands to the heart. As you exhale, while you're getting used to it, use the hands to walk over, bend the right knee, straighten the left leg. Inhale, hands to the heart or keep them on the floor. And as we exhale, frame the right foot back knee to the earth. Inhale, crescent lunge, hands lift, hips soften. Exhale, hands to the floor, straighten the back leg, square the hips. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold over the leg. And then we inhale, plant the right hand, peel the left to the sky. 
sky. Dance the feet as you need. They're not glued to the mat. Exhale, gaze to the right big toe. Inhale, goddess pose. Nice deep bend through both knees. Exhale, right foot meets the left. Hands to prayer. Sweep the hands up. Gaze up. Interlace the fingers, point the fingers to the right. Inhale, reach up. Exhale to the left. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, right foot steps out, goddess pose. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, reach the right fingertips to the back of the room for Trikonasana. Inhale, left hand to the sky. As you exhale, fold over the right leg. Halfway lift, breath in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step. The left leg back, left knee to the floor. Inhale, open up through the front of the body. Crescent lunge. Exhale, hands inside the right knee. Inhale, you might start playing with the arms, maybe reaching the left hand high in Skandasana. And as you exhale, you can use the hands. You can yogi ninja towards the back of the mat for Skandasana the other side. Inhale, either hands on the floor or right hand high. Exhale, frame the left foot with the hands, right knee to the floor. Inhale, Anjane Asana, reach the hands high. And as you exhale, ground the hands and the right foot to the floor. Pyramid pose, left side, breath in, long spine. Exhale, fold over the left leg. Inhale, adjust the right foot as you peel the right hand to the sky. And then exhale, gaze down to the left toe. As you inhale, goddess pose, turn the toes out, knees track over the toes. And then left foot to meet the right hands in prayer in front of the heart center. Inhale, sweep the hands high. As you exhale, point the fingertips to the left, breathe into the right waist. Inhale, reach the hands high. Exhale, fingertips to the right. Inhale, reach the hands high. Exhale, left foot steps out, goddess pose. Inhale, straighten the legs as you turn the right toes in. Exhale, get long through the left waist. Inhale, triangle pose. Exhale, pyramid. Take a breath in, lengthen through the spine. And then exhale, fold. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, right knee back. Inhale, Anjane Asana, hands reach high. Exhale, hands to the inside of the left foot for Skandasana. Inhale, long through the spine, option for the hands. Exhale, bend the right knee, straighten the left leg. Inhale here, option with the hands. As you exhale, turn to face the right foot. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, hands down, straighten the back leg. Inhale, lift the heart halfway. Exhale, fold. Peel the left hand up as you turn the left toes out towards the long side of the mat, Trikonasana. Exhale, gaze down to the right foot. Turn the left toes out, 
goddess pose. And then step the right foot to meet the left, hands in prayer in front of the heart space. What is my hair doing? So we'll move through a few more of those. I'm going to call the breath and the movement and give less cues, anatomical cues. So not really telling you where your toes should be pointed or if your hips should be square because it is a more lunar energy. This flow should be a little bit more free. So the, uh, how do I say it? The anatomy of the poses, don't be so caught up in them. Just maybe even close down the eyes for a little bit and feel into the body. And if you get it wrong, you get it wrong. If you get it right, great. And it should start to really open up through the hips, the hamstrings. The next couple, I'll leave out the halfway lift in pyramid pose. So it'll be an exhale into pyramid and then an inhale into crescent. I'll call the moves and just flow along with me. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, fingers to the right. Inhale, fingers high. Exhale, fingers to the left. Inhale, high. Exhale, goddess, pose. Inhale, straighten the legs, adjust the feet. Exhale, reach the right fingers back. Inhale, triangle, pose. Exhale, pyramid, pose. Inhale, crescent lunge. So we'll step the back leg back, knee down. Exhale, hands down inside the leg. Inhale, side lunge, skandasana. Exhale to the other side. Inhale, side lunge, skandasana. Exhale, face the back of the mat. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, pyramid. Inhale, triangle. Exhale, gaze down. Inhale, goddess. Exhale, left foot to meet the right. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, fingers to left. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, fingers to the right. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, left foot steps out, goddess pose. Inhale to prepare, straighten the legs. Exhale, left fingertip forward. Inhale, Trikonasana. Exhale, Pyramid Pose. Inhale, Crescent. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, Skandasana. Exhale, over to the other side. Inhale, Skandasana. Exhale, Inhale, face the front of the mat. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, pyramid pose. Inhale, trikonasana. Exhale, gaze down. Inhale, goddess. Exhale, foot to meet the left. Close down the eyes, hands to prayer in front of the heart space. We'll flow through a couple more times. I'll continue to call the breath and the pose. And moving 
again quicker. So we'll still flow at the same pace, but there'll be less breath cues. So we'll move straight into triangle without the prep and straight out of. So let's take it nice and slowly, hands overhead, inhale. Exhale, fingertips to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, fingertips to the left. Inhale, goddess pose. Exhale, reach the hands back. Inhale, triangle pose, right leg is forward. Exhale, pyramid pose. Inhale, crescent. Straight into Skandasana as you exhale. Inhale. This time use the inhale breath to bring you across. Exhale, Skandasana. Back knee down. Inhale, Crescent. Exhale, Pyramid Pose. Inhale, Triangle. Exhale, Goddess. Left foot to the right. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, fingertips to the left. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, fingertips to the right. I think I messed it up the last time. So we'll inhale, reach the hands high. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, trikonasana. That's it. Exhale, pyramid pose. Inhale, crescent. Exhale. Inhale, Skandasana. Inhale to the other side. Exhale, Skandasana. Inhale, Crescent. Exhale, Pyramid. Inhale, Trikonasana. Exhale, Goddess. Inhale, hands up high, right foot to the back. Exhale, hands to heart, center. Let's take a deep breath in. And a full breath out. Take one more round either side. Let's take the hands overhead. I won't even call the breath this time, fingertips to the right. Hands overhead, fingertips to the left. Hands overhead, goddess pose. Take it as slowly as you need for your breath. Triangle pose with the right leg in front. Pyramid pose. Low lunge or crescent lunge. Side lunge. Gandasana. Side lunge to the other side. Low lunge or crescent lunge. Pyramid pose. Triangle. Goddess. Left foot to meet the right. Last round, hands high, fingers to the left, hands high, fingers to the right, hands high, goddess, triangle to the left, pyramid pose, crescent lunge, side lunge, back of the mat, Side lunge, crescent, pyramid, triangle, goddess, and then back, oops, to the other side, right foot to meet left, hands together in front of the heart space, let's take a deep breath in together, eyes are closed. Exhale, let it go through the mouth. <sighs> Flick open the eyes and just come to a seat. So 
So I hope you enjoy that. It's actually one of my favorite things to do. I find that sometimes when I teach this, I notice people get frustrated because it's not what they're used to. You finally get the hang of Surya Namaskar, the sun salutations, and now all of a sudden we're moving laterally along the mat. Those poses don't typically tie in together so well sometimes while you're first getting used to them. Especially for men, I've had a little bit of pushback because it's quite tight on the hips and the hamstrings, so they can feel restricted. But after a while, after you repeat the movements and you don't mind so much about getting them perfect or not, it can be a really, really nice practice in itself. I know I said they were supposed to be cooling, but I'm super warm after them. I have underfloor heating, so Hopefully you're a little bit more cooler than I am. And we'll come on to our bums. And we'll finish with some nice, gentle, more yin poses. We'll keep a little bit of yang in the postures. So flex through the left foot, left leg is straight, sole of the right foot to the inside of the left thigh. And we inhale, reach the hands overhead. As you exhale, gently turn the belly button towards the extended leg, Janu Shashasana, fold over the left leg. Let the shoulders stay soft. Keep the left leg extended, or er, foot flexed, and press the back of the left leg into the mat. And then inhale, lift the heart towards the left toes. And as you exhale, soften over the left leg, either gaze to the left big toe or forehead towards the shin. Peel the upper body up. Right hand behind the right hip. Keep the right knee bent, but press into the shin so that left hand lifts, the hips lift, the sole of the left foot presses into the floor. We get a long line of energy from left fingertips to left toes. And then bum sits back on the floor. Step the right foot over the left knee. Keep the right hand grounded behind you, left toes flex. Inhale, lift the left hand high. And as you exhale, you can take hold of the right knee or you can hook left elbow over the right knee. As you inhale, ground into the sit bones, but lift up through the crown of the head. And as you exhale, begin to twist, taking the drishti over the right shoulder. If there's a variation that you prefer, take this. Take a full breath in. Exhale, release the head, the neck. You can take a counter pose for a breath. And then we'll send the right leg straight sole of the left foot to the inside of the right thigh. As we inhale, hands come overhead. And as you exhale, fold over the right leg. Breath in, heart lifts towards the toe. Exhale, soften over the right cheek. Inhale, lift the upper body up. Exhale, ground the left hand behind you. Inhale, sweep the right arm and the hips to the sky. Open up through the front and side body. And then exhale, sit the bum down. 
left foot over the right knee. Inhale, right hand lifts. Exhale to twist. Then on the inhale, create length through the spine. Exhale, twist a little deeper. Release the head, the neck, body follows. You can take a counter pose in the opposite direction. And then bring the left leg out away from the right so you are in a V for wide legged forward fold. You can prop the hands behind you, gently allowing the pelvis to tilt forward. So we want to hinge from the hips rather than round from the back. Take a breath in, lift the heart, shoulders roll back. As you exhale, lean the upper body forward. Now, if you come quite forward, hands will come out in front. You can walk the hands out as much as feels comfortable for you, maybe even coming onto the forearms. Notice that we've began to round the back. Can we lift the heart, radiate it through the gateways of the shoulders as you ground through the backs of the legs? Unless the knees are bent, that's fine too. Toes flex towards the face. It's quite an active pose, long through the spine. You might even close down the eyes here. Slowly walk the hands all the way back. Grab the knees. Bring the knees together. And then come to lay onto your mat. Hug the knees into the chest or take a little happy baby. Wiggle around on your mat. Whatever it is that feels good for the lower back, the upper body. And then let the knees fall over to the left. Keep the shoulders melting towards the floor. If you like to cross the legs, do. If you like to take the left hand over the right knee, do. So simple twist here, whatever works for you. the knees melt over towards the other side. Make your way back to center, finish with any poses you feel you need to make now in order for you to feel like you've had a complete practice. If you'd like to finish with an inversion, do. If you'd like to come straight into Shavasana, of course, do. A few more happy babies. Whatever it is you need. Thank you for practicing with me this evening. Don't forget to go outside and look at the moon tonight. I hope you had a lovely practice. If you have any questions about the moon salutations, do let me know. Namaste.